St. Patrick's Day by Gail Gibbons. St. Patrick's Day is celebrated each year on March 17th. This holiday is celebrated by the Irish and other people in many parts of the world. They honor St. Patrick, the patron saint of Ireland. St. Patrick lived many years ago. He was born in Britain around the year 1380 and raised in a Christian family. His parents did not name him Patrick. Some people believe that his name was actually May when. While still a boy, he was kidnapped and brought to Ireland where he was made a slave. His captors forced him to herd sheep. He prayed that God would help him, and six years later he escaped. After finally arriving back in Brit Brit Britain, he lived quietly, thought and prayed. He realized what he wanted to do. He had dreams of returning to Ireland to teach the people about God. He went to France to study religion. In the year 432, the head of the Catholic Church, the Pope, named him Patrick, Patricus, the Latin name for Patrick. He became a priest and then a bishop. And at last, Bishop Patrick's dreams came true. He sailed back to Ireland and began preaching. He built churches and schools all over the country. People noticed his kind ways and they trusted him. Bishop Patrick spent the rest of his life caring for the Irish people. They love this kind man. People honor Patrick on March 17th because he died on that date in the year 461. Later, the Catholic Church made him a saint, St. Patrick. Today, many things are done to celebrate this holiday. People go to church to give thanks to St. Patrick for his work in Ireland. People have fun too. They dress in green in honor of an ancient Irish custom. Hundreds of years ago, the people of Ireland burned branches with green leaves during the month of March and spread the ashes on the fields to make them fertile and green. To wear green is to honor Ireland, the Emerald Isle. Decorations are put on doors and windows. Shamrocks appear everywhere. The shamrock is a plant that has three leaves and looks like a clover. It is the symbol of St. Patrick as well as Ireland. Leprechauns are remembered on St. Patrick's Day. Long ago, some Irish folk believed in these little magic creatures. It was thought if you caught a leprechaun, you could make him lead you to a pot of gold. Leprechaun comes from the old Irish word leprechaun, meaning wee one. People believed that they were only as big as your thumb. There's the shillelagh too. In Ireland many years ago, there was an old fork, oak forest called shillelagh. The Irish liked to own a sprig of shillelagh, a short of oak club from the forest. Often people decorate shillelaghs with green ribbons. The harp is one of the oldest musical instruments and has been popular with the Irish people since early times. It serves as another of St. Patrick's Day decorations. On St. Patrick's Day, people give cards to their families and friends. People also make cakes and cookies and goodies to share with others. Some people give flowers. Others wear green carnations or pin shamrocks to their clothes to celebrate the holiday. There may be St. Patrick's Day's plays, too. Some families and friends have quiet times together in remembrance of St. Patrick. Often there are meals to share. St. Patrick's Day parties are given, too. It is fun to sing Irish songs, dance Irish jigs, and play games. In many places, there are St. Patrick's Day parades. Flags flutter in the wind. Pipers and fiddlers dance, play Irish tunes. There are green hats, people in costumes, green banners, lots of green. The first time St. Patrick's Day was celebrated in the United States was in 1737 in Boston. Each year, the Irish and many other people love to celebrate St. Patrick's Day. For many people, it is a day of worship and for celebration. And if you're not Irish, to feel a little bit Irish. The legends about St. Patrick. St. Patrick and the Snakes. It is said that St. Patrick got rid of all the snakes in Ireland. By beating his drum, he frightened them into the sea. Today, there are no snakes in Ireland. St. Patrick and the Poison. Some people say that a wizard tried to kill St. Patrick by putting poison in his drink. St. Patrick quickly turned it into ice and tossed it from his cup. St. Patrick and his Cloak. 
It is said that St. Patrick had a friend who barred his cloak. There was a big fire where the friend was staying, but he was not hurt because he was wearing St. Patrick's cloak. St. Patrick and the Shamrock. St. Patrick used the Shamrock to explain to his people about the Holy Trinity, one God and three divine beings, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Growing at his feet was the Shamrock. He used this plant to explain the three in one, one stem with three leaves. St. Patrick and the Fish. Another le legend is that each year on March 17th, fish rise from the sea. They pass before St. Patrick's altar in Ireland and then disappear back into the sea. St. Patrick and the Sunset. It is said that the sun did not set when St. Patrick died and that it shone into the sky for 12 nights and 12 days. St. Patrick's Day. 